What is up everybody? Welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Limited Run Games Another World, number 26 in their Nintendo Switch run. I actually did a uh, game review of this game quite a while ago and uh, I found it to be really challenging but also very fun. It actually sold a lot of games when it first came out and uh, it's supposed to be a platforming cinematic type of game and this came out in 91 for the Atari ST and the Amiga? I think they're both like computer games before like people started getting into handhelds and stuff like that and so um, it was supposed to be played on a computer then it like ported to the SNES, the NES I think and then like literally it's Sega and everything else but uh, it is actually an interesting and hard game at the start you probably will get frustrated but before we get into this game I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and unboxings well I almost didn't get that out of my mouth <laughs> uh, but let's get into it so like usual, we're going to show you the card first. This is actually the first couple of minutes inside the game. The beast in this bottom right hand corner you have to run away from. But you don't figure this out because the style of the game is so much different than what you guys would expect. But I know you guys want to get into this game. I want to get into this game. I'm going to still talk about this game. But we're going to show you what's inside this box. And it comes with a another word game. The actual box that it comes with. The sleeve cover on top of it. A nice diary, that's what they're calling it. I Hopefully it's an art book, because you guys know I love art books. Um, and then a code wheel, which actually I think helps you in the game or helps you decipher a couple of things in the game. But this is also the 20th anniversary edition. I think I played the uh, before, no, no, it should be the 20th because it's on the Nintendo Switch. But first we have this nice little cover sheet. It is looking really nicely, guys. Don't expect this actually to be the graphics of the game. The card is literally the style of graphics that you're going to be playing on. You have to remember this game came out in 1991 too. But then on the back side, I really wish they did a little bit more. I love the picturesque on the front side, but then the back side, they just show you most of the gameplay and you can see the, the style of graphics that you're going to be getting into. But uh, other than that, they tell you that it's a totally customizable uh, level that you can actually do in this 20th anniversary edition. And the music and sound are both re-recorded. It actually came out on a Vio, uh, I think a year ago, which is actually pretty good because this is a literally a uh, highest rated computer game ever. I think it sold a million copies in 91 or something like that. We're gonna take off the sleeve right now for you guys. Ooh, okay, you know what this box reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, signature edition games uh, that always come with a sleeve. Nice hard box. I actually really like these hard style boxes. Limited Run Games doesn't really do a lot of it, but that front cover is actually really cool compared to the sleeve because it fits in really well with the rest of the black box. Um, and then the back side is still a little bit depressing. It's still the same thing with all the uh, the description of the game and everything like that. But we're gonna open this box up for you guys right now. Uh, hopefully this jiggles a little bit. Oh, and it's got another world on the side. That's really cool. All right, cool little game right there on the pop-up. Um, I think under this should be the poster. Yep, there you go. Nice style of game. I like how it covers the whole picture instead of doing that nice little black on the outside picture. So that's really nice. Um, so we're gonna get this out of the way. Um, and then we got a diary, wow. Is this the diary, guys? This is like a comic book diary, I think. Um, I, I don't even want to flip through it because I want to be excited about opening that. But then you got the poster right here, right under it. Um, really big poster. Again, I'm pretty sure it's the front poster of this, guys. That's probably going to go right there in the corner because I, I just love that front picture. It really looks nice. And then you got a floppy disk for some reason, guys. I know I don't have my old school computer to use my floppy disk. And if you guys are too young to know what a floppy disk is, this is what we actually put on for games, files, and everything like that. It's kind of like a CD, except it's square, and uh, you can unhinge this little silver part, and you can see the taping of the actual uh, memory inside the floppy disk. And then finally, you have a code wheel, which I still have to remember is a part of the game, but I didn't really use it inside the game. So it has to be a little bit more than uh, what the game actually offers, which is actually really cool. So we're gonna get this set up and then we're gonna get into the first thing. So I guess we're gonna get into the poster first. I'm not really that surprised that is actually the front cover of the whole thing, but I wish they actually mixed it up a little bit. I still love this picture. It looks really cool. Wow, this poster is getting stuck on the backside. I hope it doesn't rip. Okay, cool. There we go. All right, so yeah, it should be the same poster as the 
front cover of Another World on the box and everything pretty much coming with it. Yeah, guys, I really like this. It doesn't even actually have Another World in it. It look, looks more like a little more artistic than it does like a video game poster. So that is definitely going to go up right there. I thought the Toe Jam and Earl one was going to go there, but uh, thankfully I didn't put it up yet. So I really like the poster. Uh, again, I think that the black borders kind of killed it. I wish the, the actual box did really well showing that. Um, but yeah, on the Nintendo Switch, I wish it was all black. <laughs> That'd actually be pretty cool because uh, the other black games that we do have is the Darksider Black Label game, um, which was a misprint, by the way, guys. Uh, thankfully, I got two, so I have one unopened. So I guess we're going to open the game first because that's probably the least surprising thing that everyone wants to see. Um, the game case, again, comes with a full game case, no black side. But then the backside cover just really disappoints me again because it's the same thing over and over and over. They do have a lot of different style art in this game, uh, a little bit of uh, the same kind of color scheme, so it looks a little bit flat the whole time when you're playing through, as you could see by like the rest of the pictures that they post up. But it gives it that sense of feel because it also was created in 1991, and people apparently love this game because it was one of the most highly rated PC games at the time. So we're gonna open it up, open this game up for you guys right now, and hopefully there's something inside. There you go. Okay, got a nice little like inside cover that doesn't match for the first time. And uh, you can actually see this is the starting of the game. He's on his like uh, phase photon like machine, whatever it is, I forget what it's called. But uh, he gets sent back in time by like a shock of electricity from like lightning. But then we also have a nice cool cover manual. Oh, no, nope. don't even call it co cover manual, it calls it art book. I really like that because you guys know I love the art. And then the cartridge just comes with that same picture. I literally have 18 of the same pictures. So I don't know what it was, but maybe they could have added something a little bit different because it literally is on every, I kind of want to line them all up and see like the same picture from big to little. Um, but let's show you guys this manual right now. So it did get a little dented. I was kind of disappointed about that. I can see it in the shine of the light, but we're just going to open it up for you guys so you can see the rest of it. So since you guys are reading the manual already, I thought we just might as well jump into the diary, I guess. Uh, it seems like this is just like most of their uh, pictures and stuff that they used for the gaming and developing of it. So you got the introduction and then you got your first sketches, so it pretty much goes the whole way through what they did with the game, which I really, really appreciate. And to know how they build games is actually really cool too.
So I guess you guys could call this a diary because it goes through everything that they did developing this game, the art, the story, the enemy, your friend, buddy. <laughs> um, but then it actually also shows you, which is the cool part because it, it ported onto so many consoles, all the different styles of the uh, additions that came out for those consoles. So you got the PC DOS format and you got the Atari ST, which I talked about, which it first came out on. Um, really cool, kind of like the same old style. So I definitely appreciate the same style of box that they had when it first came out for the other consoles. And then you have the Mega CD and then the uh, Sega CD drive and stuff like that. Finally, you got the SNES on the backside for uh, out of this world apparently. I don't know if they renamed the game or came out with another one that was just like this game for the aftermath. Um, but this was really cool guys. I really like this diary. I guess we're gonna get into the uh, spinner which is apparently a decoder in the game. I'm gonna tell you right now you have to be okay with dying in this game. You have to try different things. Think about like what you would do in a real life situation. Obviously like there are more abilities that you get inside the game but I guess we have decoder to help us out a little bit. I guess it might show us a little bit more of the storyline or something like that but that is a pretty cool thing. I don't know if it's worth it inside this box but if you guys love the game enough, I'm pretty sure you guys will use this eventually. But then finally, for the last thing, we're gonna open up this floppy disk, and I just realized this is the floppy disk that actually runs on the Amiga. Um, that is really cool, guys. So technically, you're getting another game. I don't know if it actually runs. That would be really cool if it actually, if someone had an Amiga and it ran, and if you guys do have this game and it came out from Limited Run Games, you have an Amiga, please try it out and tell me if you do. I know it's like one in a, in a million or something like that, but I do, do oh, never mind. <laughs> There's no hard drive. It literally is just a fake floppy disk. Um, okay, kind of disappointed in that one. I'm kind of disappointed in this, guys. Uh, it was like the uh, Nintendo 64 uh, ukulele uh, edition where you could think about like modding it, but they just gave you a plastic N64 cartridge and that thing cost $110. So I didn't know about that one. This one was a little bit, eh, all right. But overall, I like the box the most. Um, everything else, and the diary actually, everything else was all right. The poster was really cool. I wish they uh, changed up the pictures for the cover boxes, because it is literally the same thing out of everything. Um, but overall, this game is actually pretty fun. It's really challenging, it makes you think a lot. So if you guys are into that, or these old school kind of games, it is definitely one to look at. Um, I'll tell you right now, you will die a lot, and you gotta figure it out on your own just to be satisfied with the rest of the results. It is a fun storyline narrative. Not much talking in it at all. I'm pretty sure there's none, so that's why it can carry around so well. Um, and overall, I just had a fun time playing it. I know I get really aggressive with games, but eventually I figured it out and it ended. But for $59.99, $60, dollars guys Again, I don't know about this one. The poster was cool, the box was nice, but everything else, uh, I don't know about that. But uh, tell me what you guys thought about this because uh, I really want to know. This is actually one of the most highly sold games during that time, so I really was questionable about this. But what did you guys think again? Uh, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and unboxings just like this one. I hope you guys like and comment down below on what you guys thought about this. I really appreciate you guys talking to me. I always try talking back to you guys. I hope you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hubbalubaloo. I'll always be here unboxing new, new collector's editions as usual and single games at this point. So I'll see you next time.